Hello everyone. I hope your week is fantastic. I hope things are going good. Oh, I'm telling you, life is good, isn't it? I just want to read some scripture because I know that this is something as Christians we, we all deal with. We all deal with this and it's fear. It's fear. And I want to read this. It's Psalms chapter 27, verse 1. And it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? It's amazing that so many times we get this fear inside of us and we allow this fear to dictate our lives. We allow this fear to lead us where we don't want to go. We allow this fear to, to empower us to, to go against God's word, to um, give us the, the, the strength and the boldness to walk away from God because we're so afraid. It's amazing what fear does that it gives us the, the, the power to make these wrong decisions. And, and, and it's not really a power of God. It's, it's a false power because fear is of the enemy. Fear is just a spirit of Satan that he's trying to get into our hearts so we do not walk according to God's word. See, he uses fear to keep us from victory and provision. He uses fear to destroy marriages. He uses fear to get us in the midst of our sons and our daughters. He uses fear to have stress put on our life and worry and doubt about our job. See, when he puts fear, you start thinking that that job is providing for you and that takes you off the focus of Jehovah Jireh is your provider. I'm here to tell you, as a Christian, we shouldn't be fearing. And I know we do. I know all of us do. I, I've dealt with that in my life. But I'm here to tell you, when we get in the word and we start building that trust with God and we understand that God is our provider, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. I'm telling you, that changes our whole look and our aspect about life. It changes our marriage. It changes our relationships with our kids, our moms and dads. It changes how our relationships is with our friends. It changes how we look at a job. That doesn't mean I go to the job and I'm a slot for or, or it's going to be my way. No, no, no. It, it means I'm going to go there and I'm going to give them 100% of everything that they're paying for. But I'm not going to live in fear that they have me, that they're my provider. God's my provider. I don't have to live in fear that, that my wife you know, and kids or, or what's going to happen or what's going to go along with our family. God's providing. God's providing the answers. He's given me the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding to take care of the family. So I'm challenging you as a Christian to get in your Bible, get on your knees and get rid of this fear because that's what the enemy wants. And there's no reason why any of us that we call ourselves born again believers, we love Jesus Christ, he's our Lord and Savior, should ever be fearing. The only fear we should have is the fear for God, reverence and respect that God is everything. He's your I am. Now let's live our life as he is.